Chris Treft here with Mike Knubel, coach of Team Knubel in the BioSteel All-American game. So you're coaching the team of the U18s of the National Development Program. And on the other side is an all-star team of sorts from the USHL. And you have a chance to, to see the USHL because your son plays in the mm -hmm. league. From an outsider's perspective, what do you think of the talent level in the United States Hockey League? Yeah, no, it's it, it's great. Like you said, I, like you touched on it, my son plays in Muskegon. And uh, they're a little bit different than Scott. Scott's kind of out of the junior age, you know. It, uh, it, he's not familiar with the players, so I actually know a lot of the names here. Um, introduced myself to a couple guys that I know uh, that, that my son plays with, and Ryder Alston, who plays in Waterloo, who we've known forever since the, literally the day he was born, when his dad and I played together. So, um, you know, we've enjoyed uh, enjoyed getting to know the league and 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 how it's run and the quality of play. And um, you know, it's it's a fantastic showcase for these guys and and for for the USA kids to come in here and play under this under this incredible spotlight and and I guess it's a perk of playing in the league that you you know if you're a good player in the USHL you have a chance and you're draft eligible you have a chance to to make this game and I'm sure moving forward if, if the game is deemed a success and and it'll be a huge selling point I think uh, for the league that you have a chance to play in this uh, big event so what does it mean to you to be selected to coach in this great event well it's good I think I, I you know uh, John Van Beesberg called me kind of out of the blue and um, you know I work for the Grand Rapids Griffins a little bit part-time American League team of the Red Wings and uh, being based in Grand Rapids and uh, kind of stuck to my little neighborhood there you know uh, and then John called me and you know I kind of have a history of played in four, four world championships I played the Olympics with Scott Gomez in 2006 when they let pros play um, you know so I do have some history with it and have worn the worn the jersey they didn't have the program they didn't have all this stuff when we came through I didn't make a world junior team I was I don't even know if I was a candidate for it uh, you know but so, so some of these guys you, you like to make the point like you know some of you some of you the route is it's going to be really fast to the top and then others you're going to go sideways it's going to take you a while you're going to have to you're going to have to uh, figure it out and stay with it I mean I didn't play my first NHL game until I was probably 24 years old maybe almost getting close to 25 and granted times were different then it seems like the league's a lot younger now but um, the players the first step is to get in this game and hopefully you can improve your stock and some will and some won't and 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 but but at the end of the day there's still a long road to go in this game they like to you know, it feels like a heavy game. It feels like it's a do-or-die moment, and, and and for sure, it's a it's a huge moment. But you know, you still have a long road to go, and 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 uh, these kids are so young, and you shouldn't. You just gotta. It's a blessing to play in this game and get out there, be prepared to come out and go through the, go run somebody over if you have to, go make plays, skate, finish checks, just do all the little things, and 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 hopefully somebody takes a liking to you. So as much as this is an exhibition game, you played many, many years in the NHL. The competitive juices are still probably flowing. So is there anything on the line between you and Scott? Yeah, I know. It's uh, we, we just were asked that, you know, and it's, uh, I guess, uh, so he's from Alaska and I'm from Michigan. I guess if I was in Michigan, I'd bet him a case of craft beer. <laughs> and if he's, well, he's living in New York, yeah, so what's he going to bet? Yeah, I don't know, he's going to bet me some New York-style pizza or something. But we'll, we'll get something going for sure. We haven't decided uh, yet, but, you know, like how the politicians, they bet their local product yeah. or whatever. But we'll get something going here, and we'll have a good friend. Wager. Well, thank you very much for your time. Have some fun tonight and best of luck. Well, thank you. Chris Treft here with Scott Gomez, coach of Team Gomez for the BioSteel All-American game. Scott, you have the task of coaching the USHL All-Stars, as you can call them, all the draft-eligible Americans on your team. It's a little bit of a, a daunting task for you because you got guys, you got to find chemistry with people and get them to have the best game they can to showcase themselves in front of all these scouts. Yeah, well, it's more on them. I mean, uh, all you can do is kind of point them, and uh, I wish I could get out there with them, help them out. But uh, no, these guys know what's at stake. It's a it's a special honor to be here. Um, you know, I think the the scouts and everyone that are going to be here, they want to see how these kids can do uh, under pressure. I mean, uh, it's a it's a big game. You can you know make a little name for yourself. Uh, you know, for the draft eligible guys, and at the same time, I mean, you don't want to come here thinking that you know I'm going to change my game completely to to show a a scout or whatever or whoever that I can play this way I mean you stick with your game they'll take a obviously in these kind of situations if you find chemistry right away that that's that's a bonus but if not you gotta you just gotta kind of grind through it and uh, play play your style and uh, hopefully put the kids out there in, in right situations but uh, at the end of the day they're the, they're the ones on the ice and uh, all you can do is kind of pat them and you're up next and hopefully they uh, you know they, they enjoy this moment so you've had, a, you've had a couple chances to see your team yesterday and today at the morning skate you know, you're not a guy that's familiar with the USHL too much, but what do you think of the talent level on your squad? Well, the talent levels, I mean, it's 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 incredible how the, you know the the skill the skill level these guys uh, these guys have. I mean, uh, it, uh, seeing them on the ice, you can tell that uh, it's right there. Um, you know, games 
games are always different. I mean, you can be the best practice player, but when the game, when the lights come on, it's a, it's a little different. But yeah, um, I'm excited. There, the the boys are excited. I mean, you could tell they really want to go out there and uh, and, and beat the other team, and um, that's that's all you can ask for. Is uh, hopefully the competitiveness is there, and uh, I think it will be. So speaking of that. Between you and Mike Knubel on the other side, you got any wagers on the game or anything going between you two? Yeah, I think it's like up to like 30 grand right now, and then, so we'll see. Uh, you know, we can talk all we want, but it's the collecting that's always the hard part. So hopefully, my team comes through, and uh, you know, we'll have a little fun with it. Thank you very much for your time. Best of luck tonight. Right, thank you.